So a common uh, question being searched on the internet right now is what is the difference between a financial planner and a financial advisor? Uh, it can be very confusing. Unfortunately, the financial service industry uses a lot of different titles, kind of smoke and mirrors, I guess, uh, in a lot of ways. But regulatory wise, there's registered representatives of a broker dealer. So a registered rep would be a person at a Merrill or a Wells Fargo or Never Jones. Uh, then there's investment advisor representatives are of a registered investment advisory firm. <laughs> That's complicated, right? So investment advisor representatives um, are typically independent advisors that um, are going to be your fiduciaries and could be your fee-based or fee-only um, advisors working for independent firms, which is the RIA, the Registered Investment Advisory Firm. So this is all a little complicated, but that's how um, the SEC and FINRA uh, divide up the titles. So then comes marketing. <laughs> so marketing can, might call an advisor in either world a financial planner, or it might be a financial advisor, or it could be a wealth advisor, um, or a wealth manager, let's say. Ultimately, it's not the title that's important, um, it's what work they are doing. Are they selling you a product? So a registered rep is selling you product. They might say they're a financial planner or a financial advisor and that they are doing financial plans for you, but the reality is those plans are geared to sell you more product because they're not making money on the plan, they're making money on the insurance sale, the mutual fund sale, uh, selling you asset management services where the um, RI or the IAR, investment advisor representative, who might call themselves a wealth manager, financial planner, or financial advisor, uh, is typically working uh, not just for asset center management, but typically is working uh, as a financial planner, a person who is looking at your insurance, your property casualty, um, life insurance, um, asset management, how your funds are allocated in your 401k, uh, your estate planning, all of those things are typically done by a financial planner, which usually is a wealth manager uh, at a investment advisory or a uh, registered investment advisory firm, IAR. So ultimately, don't get caught up too much in the title that they're using at the firm, but more so looking at how the firm's structured. Is it a fiduciary firm? Uh, and if it's a fiduciary firm, that's the first check. And then the second check is it fee only. Uh, fee only versus fee based are two very different things. Fee only means they're working your best interest. They sell. They don't sell any product. Fee based means they did a financial plan, most likely as a fiduciary, but then they take off that hat so they can then sell you uh, an insurance product. So that's a little confusing to the market. I don't like the fee based model. Um, I like the fee only model. Um, but again, it's you have to go with uh, who you trust uh, and perhaps. Um, a company's fee base only because of some legacy assets in the past and they can't qualify to be fee only. Regardless though, uh, fiduciary plus fee only is always in your best interest. Thanks for watching.